Hello, welcome back to Life in Lockdown. Do you play games? We have a family board game at home called Roller Coaster Hippo, and great fun it is too, as you shoot down water slides onto sofas, imagine it, and all the rest. Christian life and ministry can be a roller coaster too. Remember how the old prophet Elijah swung from the high of Mount Carmel to the low of fear as he felt the wrath of Jezebel. His self-worth plummeted and he wished he was dead. Here's the start of the story as he runs for his life. Ahab told Jezebel all that Elijah had done and how he had killed all the prophets with the sword. Then Jezebel sent a messenger to Elijah, saying, So may the gods do to me, and more also, if I do not make your life like the life of one of them by this time tomorrow. Then he was afraid. He got up and fled for his life, and came to Beersheba, which belongs to Judah. He left his servant there. But he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness and came and sat down under a solitary broom tree. He asked that he might die. It is enough. Now, O Lord, take my life, for I am no better than my ancestors. Then he lay down under the broom tree and fell asleep. Suddenly an angel touched him and said to him, Get up and eat. He looked, and there at his head was a cake baked on hot stones and a jar of water. He ate and drank and lay down again. The angel of the Lord came a second time, touched him and said, Get up and eat. Otherwise, the journey will be too much for you. He got up and ate and drank. Then he went in the strength of the food forty days and forty nights to Horeb, the Mount of God. At that place, he came to a cave and spent the night there. For many of us, life before lockdown was quite a roller coaster. And the early days of it were pretty adrenaline filled too. A few weeks in though, and a sort of depression sets in. Now what? What's to become of us? It's not very nice, but it's very natural and something we need to be ready to respond to. Like Elijah, we can just feel like curling up into a ball and dying. Well, I can anyway. I remember once feeling like that for ages after a dangerous car breakdown which ended up with a mile-long reverse down a mountain. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I'd play you Simon and Garfunkel's Sound of Silence if I had the permissions, but you can imagine it, if you like, as I read a bit to you and show you Washington Alston's painting of how Elijah ended up, almost merged into the dust of the ground in the shadeless shelter of a dead tree. In restless dreams I walked alone, narrow streets of cobblestone. Neath the halo of a street lamp I turned my collar to the cold and damp, when my eyes were stabbed by the flash of a neon light that split the night and touched the sound of silence. And in the naked light I saw ten thousand people, maybe more, people talking without speaking, people hearing without listening, People writing songs that voices never share, and no one dared disturb the sound of silence. It was only God who dared disturb the dead silence of Elijah. And before even with him there was any talking, before there was any moving on, there was just an angel with love and practical care, food and sleep. And when God did come himself, it wasn't in a wind, nor in an earthquake, nor in a fire, but in a still, small voice. Intriguingly, the sound of silence, again, as the original Hebrew has it, but a different sort of silence, 
one that heals. Then at last Elijah can pour out his heart to God as he finds his own voice in prayer, can hear God's word for him and find the new strength and purpose he needs to return to the fray. If you're feeling down and out during life in the lockdown or living with someone else who is, be kind to yourself, be kind to them, offer love and care, try not to jump to conclusions or offer quick answers. We know now medically and spiritually that these things take time and pray too that the one in whom all our being is ultimately held will meet them, will meet you in your time of need and open up his good future to you.